3D triggers are used in presentation mode to activate or trigger specific behaviors on screen. Triggers can be used to activate alternative appearances, activate behaviors, change lighting environments, change to a different screenshot, or activate storyboard slides that contain any of the previously mentioned items. Launch Showcase and open the Chapter 7 underscore triggers dot A3S file. Open the Behaviors interface by selecting Story, Behaviors on the main menu, or by using the keyboard shortcut B. The interface opens on the left side of the screen and is divided into two sections. We're going to create 3D triggers that will activate the head turn and pedestal move behaviors that are already in the scene. Select the middle pedestal and on the Create dropdown, select the only option, 3D Trigger. An icon is created in the Triggers section of the Behaviors interface, but no Properties dialog appears. Right click the icon. On the shortcut menu, there are several options available, but only one with a flyout indicated, the Trigger Association option. Click it, and several more options appear. Alternatives, Behaviors, Environments, Shots and Slides. Some of these are grayed out, since there are no alternatives or slides created for this file. The Environments and Shots only have one option. The Behaviors option, however, has two choices. Head Turn, and Pedestal Move. Select either one of these and Showcase will present you with more options regarding how you want the behavior to perform when activated by this trigger. You can dictate that the behavior play forward or play backward, pause, continue, stop, and reset to its start or end, continue forward, or continue backward. Select the Pedestal Move behavior and specify that it play forward. Now select the top half of the middle figure and create another trigger. Right click the new icon and select Trigger Association, Head Turn, Play Forward from Start. Note that the behaviors icons now have an asterisk on them, indicating that they have been associated to triggers. We can review the behaviors now, but the program has to be in presentation mode to see the triggers in action. Close the behaviors interface and activate presentation mode by choosing Present, Presentation Mode from the main menu, or by using the keyboard shortcut Tab. Note that when in presentation mode, the cursor changes to aid in scene navigation. Remember, presentation mode is designed to look at the model or scene not to manipulate it. Click the pedestal and see the behavior begin. If you click the torso, the head will start to move. Multiple behaviors can occur at once if you have identical triggers. You can also add triggers to reset geometry in the scene as we mentioned earlier. As you can see, proper planning and well-placed triggers can bring models in your scene to life and seem much more real to the viewer. This will in turn keep viewers more engaged in the presentation and more receptive to the information you're providing.